I, I don't know if this is meant to be part of our discussion here or not. But it's been pointed out that you are hoping to stay in the area for a while, presumably after the uh, Eagle project is done. And it's well known that you have other prospects that you're looking at. Um, but, and it's well known that you have leased and purchased mineral rights in the area. That is a place where I would like to see more transparency. Mm -hmm. It would be great if you would put online a map of all your leased and, and owned mineral rights. It would be great if you would give a little more information about where your next likely prospects are. I know that's proprietary and it's kind of... Yeah, we have to you be have careful. To, you, have to, you, you and other mining companies want the same stuff, so to speak. But certainly, if, if, if we know where you're purchasing and leasing mineral rights, that would be really useful information to help us track what you, we think you might be doing in the future. And drilling core samples. Where we're drilling core samples. Okay. I, I, I can speak for myself. I went up to the Keweenaw uh, Gresham Lake area where they're doing core sampling last fall. And, uh, Got a small tour, the mineral club did. And what we were told then was they can't release a lot of this because it can be considered inside trade. Because we were asking a lot of similar questions. And when it came to the core samples, they were sent right to their warehouse. They got four geologists from Michigan Tech here, and you're not even allowed in the building. The state, the feds, and uh, the mining company like, we have access to that. And they told us the reason was. They could be considered inside trading on the market. Yep. I heard a rumor that the Dominic Commission Dominic uh, School had an increase of one point two million dollars in funds. Is that true? Uh, yes, we um, through our regular uh, tax payment that we made in 2012, uh, we paid approximately four million dollars to the local township. And 1.2 million of that was the Public Michigan School District, which is actually about 110 percent of their annual budget. Yeah. One of the things, uh, and I, I have found, in fact, you can go to the 543S site information graphic place, and they have core records and so forth that you can actually get. Now you aren't going to look at the cores, but you look at the, the concentrations of the metals and the depths and things. But what I find very frustrating about when a mining company wants to uh, get a permit, the public can, can get, typically, for various ways, the concentrations of the metals in the ore body, but it's very difficult to get the mineralogy and the metal concentrations and the sulfide concentrations in the surrounding rock because, and I don't even know if you have to report that to the state, but it seems to me it would be, for those concerned about, say, acid mine drainage, it's not just the ore body that's the issue, it's the nature of the surrounding rock that's potentially an issue. So it would be really nice if that information could be given to the public. Not, in this, you know, not the exact location, but some kind of a, some kind of a clue. John, do you want to? What, what information? I, I missed the part that had to the public. So, what he's saying is it would be nice to know what the composition of the host rock is rather than just the core sample. That information is, is easily found or maybe not so easily found but can be located by the public. But what the public doesn't have access to or what's unknown is the composition of the host rock. I believe that. I believe that information is in the permit application. And, uh, and I believe there's a lot of detailed information available on that. And if it's not in the, I would have to verify it for you. It's actually in the mining permit application, but the air permit application, we had to break down all the different metals that are in the air or in the in the ore because that is how we make dust. Well, it's not the ore right? that I'm worried about. But and the host rock, we look at development rock and what we call development rock. And we looked at both, and we look at all the metals composition that's in it because you need to know what composition is in the dust. So it's very very detailed in the air permit application, but. Yeah, I agree it's not readily provided, but it is embedded in the applications, so it is. Okay, I'll look more carefully. Okay. 